This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's Workplace Conflict Starter Kit. We all have conflict within our business and sometimes we just don't know what to do or say in these difficult situations. The Workplace Conflict Starter Kit is a web-based program that's your surefire solution to knowing what to do and say when things go wrong. I'm Jean Hansen and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. If you've ever heard of people referred to as toxic, then you know they're not the sort of people you want to be around. So why in the world would you let toxic cleaning technicians continue working in your company? We all want great employees, you know the type, positive people that are productive, on time and reliable. The kind of employees that remind you why you started this business in the first place. On the flip side are the toxic people. You know this type of person too. They're the ones that gradually spread their negative attitudes and actions to other employees. Some of their coworkers will recognize them for who they are, but others, especially newer employees, will listen to their toxic talk and see their toxic actions and start agreeing with the negative comments being spread throughout the organization. Before you know it, you have an entire culture of negativity running rampant through your company. Here are some of the signs of toxic employees, and if you recognize any of these signs, it's time to take action right away. Number one, they have a negative attitude. They come to work grumpy and seem to, seem to complain all day long. Number two, they talk badly about their coworkers and management. It seems there's always someone on their list to talk about. Number three, they have an excuse for everything and they oftentimes blame others. People that come armed with excuses don't like to take responsibility for their own actions. Number four, they get defensive when given constructive criticism and have a hard time admitting they have room for improvement. Number five, they complain no matter what they're asked to do, especially if it's something outside their normal work duties. Number six, they like to stir up trouble. So maybe they spread information about a coworker that was told to them in confidence. Or maybe they try to undermine a management decision by talking negatively about it to their coworkers. Number seven, they lack initiative and are often less productive than others. If you allow this to happen in your supervisory staff, you've got a real problem on your hands because their subordinates will model that behavior. Number eight, they don't like change and they're the first to grumble about it when asked to do things differently. They tend to be inflexible in everything they do. And number nine, toxic cleaning technicians tend to be late a lot and take days off with little or no notice. They don't appear to have any loyalty to the company or regard for their coworkers who are the ones filling in during their unexpected absence. If you have employees with several of these qualities, then it's time to take action. If you let them continue to work in your company, you're putting your entire workforce at risk as they spread their toxic attitudes to the rest of the team. Do you have toxic cleaning technicians? Share your story by commenting below the video. That's it for today's show. If you have conflict within your business and don't know quite what to do or say, then the Workplace Conflict Starter Kit is your surefire solution. This self-study guide will give you the exact verbiage to use so you can have good ways to deliver bad news. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.